Los Alamos made 700 dirty bombs, but only one of them worked. Did you know the cat litter once caused a nuclear incident? In 2014, barrel number 68,660 in a nuclear waste storage facility erupted, spewing out fire and radioactive waste. It was caused by an exothermic reaction inside the barrel with an unusual cause. The barrel had been packed with the wrong type of cat litter. This sounds strange, but actual cat litter was and is used in the storing of nuclear waste, and using the wrong type can have a serious impact on safety for both the environment and for the humans involved. It was February 14th, Valentine's Day, 2014, when the incident occurred at the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant, or WIP for short. The continuous air monitoring system's alarms went off and it automatically began filtering contaminated air to the surface as a fire burned for over two hours below ground. WIP is in Carlsbad, New Mexico, and it was planned to be the final resting place for a lot of nuclear waste generated by the US military, for example, from testing new nuclear weapons. The full story of this is, of course, a long and secretive one. The US government hasn't been too open about it, presumably because it involves nuclear waste and a somewhat embarrassing mix-up being made by someone that works for them. Plus, the final report on the incident released by the Energy Department was not independent, as the department was essentially investigating itself. In my opinion, this would be an excellent story for a long-form investigative journalist or a YouTuber to dive deep into the details one day. If only such a creator existed. Damn, I wish I could edit like that guy. Until then though, you'll have to make do with me. The story involves the high-pressure environment of nuclear waste disposal in the 1960s, 70s and 80s that led to the facility and its procedures being put in place and lots of political games to make it look and sound incredibly successful. Truth be told though, it does seem like WIP was pretty successful for a long time. It had run for 15 years without any incidents, or at least no incidents that we know of. And then in 2014, we had the Valentine's Day barrel explosion. Actually, just nine days earlier, Energy Department accident investigators were also at the site, investigating a truck used for hauling salt that had caught fire underground. It was investigated, but nothing seemed too suspicious, so nothing much happened as a result. Then, just nine days later, our unrelated cat litter incident led to 140 people at WIP working away, unaware of the contamination below them. The drum that erupted had been shipped to WIP from Los Alamos, the desert lab famous for hosting Oppenheimer and the Manhattan Project. In the end, at WIPP, 22 people were treated for receiving small doses of radiation. WIP was closed for 35 months, and the LA Times predicted the incident cost the United States $2 billion. Waste shipments from across the country were backed up. WIP and Los Alamos spent years recovering, and they had to implement many corrective actions to their procedures as a result of the whole thing. In reality, the incident was reasonably small in terms of health and environmental impact, but it could have been orders of magnitude worse. It's frankly a miracle it wasn't. For example, if the drum had ignited during the day when workers were present, or if more of the hundreds of incorrectly packaged barrels had burst. To be honest, it kind of seems like an ongoing mystery as to why only one of the drums burst. In this article by Vincent Dialenti, which was a very helpful source of the information in this video, a lab manager is quoted as saying, Los Alamos made 700 dirty bombs, but only one of them worked. All of this drama was because they used wheat-based cat litter instead of clay-based cat litter. Organic instead of inorganic. A classic mistake. In many industries, actual cat litter is used as a convenient absorbent, and it turns out the nuclear waste industry is one such place where it's used. In the case of the WIP, about 26 kilograms of cat litter was added to each barrel of nuclear waste to help stabilize some of the liquids and nitrate salts. However, they were meant to use inorganic cat litter, which didn't react with the nuclear waste and simply helped absorb and stabilize the waste. Instead though, for a while, they started using an organic cat litter from a band called Sweet Scoop. I mean, it literally has wheat in the name. This contains carbohydrates, which provided fuel for a chemical reaction. A mixture of nitrate salts in the waste reacted with the wheat-based cat litter 
producing heat and gases. This additional heat then sped up the chemical reaction taking place, leading to a runaway effect. This eventually caused the seal of the barrel to fail, and ultimately led to the radioactive leak and the release of plutonium and americium into the facility. So the question becomes, how did this happen? This is a really hard question to answer. Some reports put it down to a simple typo or misunderstanding. Perhaps something as silly as someone reading inorganic cat litter as an organic cat litter on an order form. Other stories tell of convenience winning out over scientific rigor and safety, under the pressure of transporting and storing all of the waste. It was simply easier for workers to go to the Los Alamos grocery store when they ran out of correctly obtained absorbent and just buy the sweet scoop litter that they sold there, not knowing or not caring that it was the wrong type. In the article I mentioned a minute ago by Vincent Ialenti, after a lot of interviews with people involved and who investigated the incident, the most likely culprit for the cause of the mistake is something called the 3706 campaign. This was an initiative to accelerate the shipment of transuranic waste from Los Alamos to WIP between 2012 and 2014. Transuranic elements are any element that have an atomic number greater than that of uranium, which is 92. These elements are all radioactive and effectively never occur naturally on Earth, so they're only produced synthetically. Yes, I know small amounts of a couple of them are found naturally, but effectively there's none of them. This campaign and its goal of accelerating the waste shipments seems to be the crucible in which the oversights were allowed to fester. It's likely that a combination of high-pressure deadlines, schedules, and expectations, combined with hands-off oversight to allow for the cat litter mistake to happen. I'm a big believer in Hanlong's razor, that you should never attribute to malice something that can adequately be explained by incompetence. The original one says stupidity, but that's a bit harsh. You don't have to be stupid to be incompetent. Maybe there was some conspiracy to cause this incident, but it doesn't seem likely to me. It is just so human for this to be an actual, genuine, and really silly mistake. That doesn't mean the people involved shouldn't be held accountable, and proper investigations need to be done to eliminate mistakes like this in the future. No one wants another headline saying cat litter causes nuclear incident. That said, it does make a cool YouTube video for me, so... Silver lining, I guess. For me though, I haven't interviewed anyone involved, so it's not fair for me to say much more on who is to blame. Check out the article in the description to read way more about this, and be sure to tell everyone you know about the story of the cat litter that caused a nuclear incident. I just think this is a really interesting story, but I would love to hear your thoughts on it too. Do you think this was just a simple oversight? Was it part of some secretive government double bluff, or something else altogether? Let me know down there, and thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, stay safe team, I'll see you soon. Bye!